White people are truly so dense. So there's this woman oh. that um, had a cool dog and my dog was cool with her, um, with her dog. So they like played a little bit and then her friend like pulls up and we start talking about my dog. She's a German Shepherd, Belgian Malinois. And she's like, oh yeah, like all the dogs that protect like the president are Malinois. And then I start talking about how like trainers end up being super racist and they are racist. And then it perpetuates a stereotype of my dog that like she doesn't with black and brown people which is the opposite i literally told them i was like i trained her to not like white people oh <laughs> um which the the woman with the dogs like laughed at because it's hilarious but anyways um surprise though she was also white but i was like yeah you know the trainers are like a little bit like the trainers are racist and she was like towards other dogs i was like no against like black and brown people like they train dogs to bite them and hold on to them and latch onto them um which is a huge problem She's like, yeah, like, I've never heard that before. And I was like, well, yeah, you're white. So you're probably also a racist. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it is with these people. Like, just no perception. They're just like, yeah, racism doesn't exist. Shut up. It's absurd. I don't understand it. Um, wow. <laughs> white people are so dense. It's never going to stop being wild to me how comfortable woke people are, especially on TikTok. Making these kinds of sweeping generalizations about groups of people, immutable characteristic demographic groups that in any other case they would be very hurt by and offended by and, and I think understandably call racist, they're totally comfortable making those kinds of sweeping statements about white people. Like, it's actually not okay, my friend, to take the actions of one random individual you've interacted with, who, by the way, sounds like they did absolutely nothing wrong. But regardless, and take the actions of one random individual and attribute them blindly to an entire group. So, like, imagine if I met a black person who was very stupid and said something incredibly dumb. And then I was like, black people are so dumb. That would be wildly unfair and racist. But y'all woke people, uh, y'all TikTok people think it's okay to do that about white people. Your Delulu is showing, babe. And I just have to say... My rule stays undefeated that 95% of the time I'm making my exception for my fans out there, my OG goth kids, because I know there are a few of y'all who are sane, but 95% of the time you see that bull looking ass nose ring, you know, you're about to hear the worst take of your fucking life. I mean, this chick really just admitted on camera to the world that she trained her dog to hate people of a certain race, white people. And that's ha 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 funny. Pr she's proud of that somehow. Like, babe, you're demented. You're actually sick. And what kind of wild echo chamber must you live in to think that that's okay and something you should admit publicly? I mean, maybe it's a joke. I hope, but you shouldn't be comfortable saying stuff like that with your full chest. Like, you exist in a demented ecosystem if that kind of speech about a whole group of people is normalized, okay? And I found the whole rant about how dog trainers are racist and train the dogs to bite and hang on to brown people strange. Now, I don't know much about dog training, so I will fully admit maybe there's something to this that I just am not aware of. Maybe there's some historical truth there, but I just find it incredibly impossible to believe that that is at all a common practice in modern dog training in America in 2024. And our friend here provided absolutely no source or evidence or substantive basis to back up this pretty wild claim. So I'm not inclined to believe it whatsoever. <laughs> and neither was this lady who, who sounds nice who this person encountered, and yet she portrayed this person's pretty natural skepticism to this wild claim with no evidence as her saying racism doesn't exist. No, babe, actually, you can be skeptical of one particularly far-fetched accusation of systemic racism without that meaning that you're saying racism doesn't exist anywhere. The math is not mathing there, cupcake. And I love, I just love how she ended this whole rant with how absurd white people are. Like, oh my gosh, they just don't get it, babe. Maybe it's you. That's absurd. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I just can't. These TikTok people somehow keep getting crazier and crazier. They keep setting 
new records for Delulu. You let me know what you think, especially if any of you are big dog lovers or dog trainers. <laughs> let me know what you think of this pretty wild video in the comments below. And do remember to hit that like button to reward my suffering because sometimes it really is agony watching this absolutely asinine content for your viewing pleasure. Uh, <laughs>